What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Crucial Keys. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Took a little break. Me and my wife is doing some, you know, stuff to the house. So, you know, got to take some family time, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but back with another video. Uh, this video, as you can see from this title, yeah, we're going way back. Giant Steps, John Coltrane, the most feared jazz song ever created okay now me personally i don't know like i guess because it was hard to solo over it that's why they call it the most feared jazz song but it's really to, in my opinion it's not hard to play and especially if you practice it enough it's not really that hard but we're gonna we're gonna break it down so i'm gonna play it through uh one time a couple times maybe and then i'm gonna break it down all right so let's see what we got <laughs> So that's the whole thing. Now, I'm not gonna do the bass line in this video. The bass line is a whole different thing. We'll get to that in another video. So, first chord. Now, if you're not used to playing full chords, this is gonna take some time. So, that's the first chord. All right, left hand, right hand. Second chord. It's so a second chord. Left hand, right hand. It's it's really weird doing it slow. I'm just say that. Like if you've been playing it like fluently for a while, it's weird to play it really slow. But yeah. So it's just your second chord. Left hand, right hand. First, first chord, second chord, it's your third chord, left hand, right hand. This is your fourth chord, left hand, right hand. That's the fifth chord, left hand right hand so we're going to play those five chords again oh now you could do that I actually added that myself or you could do or it's pretty much the same thing you just add in the B Okay, and then, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. One more time. All right, so y'all got that? Next part, so let's play the first part through, then go to the next part. I'm gonna do it slow. That's the next part. Yeah. So you got. Okay. That's your little lick. Then you got. That's your chord. Left hand, right hand. So you got. It. That lick leads up to the chord. 
Next chord. Okay. Left hand. Right hand. So you got. Okay. So that's what we got so far. That's what we got so far. Okay. Do it slow. Oh shoot. I ain't supposed to go that far yet. Alright, so that's what we got so far. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. So let's move on to the next part. Alright. If you got the whole thing, you can skip ahead and we you know we're gonna be doing extra stuff in there and stuff, throwing extra chords in there or changing the harmony a little bit. So if you you mastered it already, just skip ahead. But this is for the people who are still learning it. That's the next chord. Okay. Left hand. Right hand. Alright, so what we got so far? That's the next chord. Okay? So I'm going to do it again. Flat 13, left hand, right hand. So we got so far. All right, let's move on to the next part. the next chord left hand right hand okay next chord left hand right hand Next chord. You do that little walk on the bass. Okay, so we got what we got so far. Go to the let's go to the next part. Next part. So left hand, right hand. All right. So you got. the next chord so left hand right hand so you got next chord left hand right hand Let's see what we got. Next 
next part. That's the next part. So you got, uh, so he was at, let's do the whole thing. And then you do that lick again. Same chord, same chord. Okay. So you got that's the next part. So your right hand is playing that, and then your left hand is playing. So let's, let's see what we got so far. Next part. Go ahead. So take that chord, the first part of the chord, left hand, right hand. So you got it. That's the second part of the chord. Okay. Left hand, right hand. That's the next chord. Back to the beginning. That well, we're not at the beginning, but that's the beginning chord. And then you do left hand, right hand, same F minor chord. Second part of the chord. That's the last chord, then you gotta play a turnaround chord so you can start over, which is left hand, right hand. So you got, and this is the last chord. Okay? Left hand, right hand. Then you start over. That's a substitution chord right there. Instead of playing, you'll play. Okay? So, that's your right hand. So, it'll be like... See that? Oh, man, that's cold. That fit, it's like, it's like you was just chilling and then he was walking down the street and then bam you hit a you hit a uh a, a, a crack in the in the cement threw you off that's how I, that's how that chord is because it's it's like it just hits your ear like a brick instead of that chord that chord is like that chord fits it makes you feel good but this chord uh That chord makes you like, whoa, that kind of threw a little twist in there. So take that chord, make sure you got that. 
So that's the whole thing. Now, you're saying, like, you know, what can we do with this? I mean, you could improvise, like, if somebody was playing the bass line, like, you could literally play, play, like, any chord. So, this is, this is what I'm saying. So, check this out. So, you got... stuff like that instead of doing a, you could do I mean it's all jazz so whatever you note that you can throw in there to make it you know fit even more that's that's uh doable so now you could do that go to the go to the one Cause I was, I was staying right here. See, I stayed right there on the five. See that? Left hand, right hand. So like I said before, if you're not used to playing full chords, this is the time to get used to it. If you're used to just playing, you know, like normal triads. If that's what you're used to playing, that's that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But you want to have the ability to add notes in your triad so that you can make them, you know, have more flavor. Uh, you know, just give it that reharm feel and the jazzy feel so like I said full chords so all right and then uh, so stuff like that and then same thing see that so so see that so you can pretty much just like play with the song to like give you that uh more like a I'm taking the song, I got the foundation, but I'm learning how to improvise with chords. If you want to throw runs in there, that's fine. But the chords are the main thing. So, uh, uh my bad. So like that, if you want to change that melody, like change this, keep, keep the B, but change the chord around it. So. See what I'm saying? Like it's it's endless so so <laughs> so stuff like that is what basically what I'm talking about like sit down take your time Learn the song. Like, learn the whole song. 
but then take your time and see what you can do to reharm what he already did. That'll open up your mind to different possibilities. Even when you plan, like wherever you play in church or wherever you play, uh, so that you can be open minded to different things you can try. Don't be scared to try stuff. Even if it, like I do it all the time with y'all. When I'm on these videos, I don't always, what I, what I play, I don't always practice before I start recording. Some things I do is literally like right there live off the top of my head. So it's not like I don't cut in my videos. I don't do cuts. So, so like if I mess up, I mess up. I don't cut it out. Y'all, as y'all can see, y'all don't see no jump cuts or anything like that. So I don't try to fake it or make it seem like, oh, I just, I'm perfect. I never mess up. I, I'm just a genius and it just comes, I mess up. There's no way you're going to succeed without failure. Failure is the key to success. The point is when you do fail, dust yourself off, get back up and do it again until you don't fail that's the point failure is not to stay down is to get back up so that you can learn from the failure the mistake or whatever so i'm telling y'all transparency that's me i don't make videos and edit them like just edit the crap out of them and then y'all don't ever see a mistake or uh, a wrong chord or a messed up run like like whatever I'm doing, cause I tell y'all, this giant steps. Several times I had to practice this for hours, because the chords are not just simple chords. They're not simple triads that you're doing. Like, no, these chords are full. Like you don't play chords like this all the time. Not all the time. You don't play chords like this all the time, okay? So, to play them fast, so basically, this song is to help you not only just learn the song but also to play get more uh used to playing full chords playing triads once you master that i mean it's like you even gotta look while you're doing it but these chords require you to try so you have to really be focused and pay attention to what you're doing because one wrong note and like that instead of playing uh this i play this or that actually sounds good that actually sounds good see you see what i'm saying one note change everything so make sure y'all take that all I did was move the F sharp to A flat. All right. So I hope this helped y'all out. Uh, I'll make another video showing the bass line, like when you solo on and stuff like that. Uh, y'all let me know if there's anything y'all want me to do, break down, teach, whatever, play, whatever. But I uh, uh, hope y'all enjoy this. Hope y'all, you know, learn something helped y'all. Uh, I'll be back with another video uh, probably in a few days. So I'm probably making a video right now as you're watching this. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Oh, make sure y'all subscribe to join the Keys team. Key in on that like button. And make sure you hit the notification bell. So when I do upload, you'll get the notification. All right? I'm out. Peace.